older brother. I'll fly you to St. Bina in his stead. Thanks. Let's go. Mr. McGovern, are you all okay? Ah, it's you. What's that vehicle? Field Marshal, we'll talk later. Right now, let's just get everyone on board. <laughs> Allow me to express my gratitude. But what's going to become of St. Bina? I imagine it will sink into the mantle before long. No. Is there nothing we can do? This is like when Hod fell. They say it took a month to sink. Hod. Hmm. So this is vengeance for Hod. Is there really nothing we can do? It's sad to lose your home. It's already weird enough having the ground fall apart. I can't think of anything we can do. It's hopeless. I know. What about the Sephiroth? This place fell because Master Van messed with that passage ring thing and did something to the Sephiroth, right? Then can't we just bring it back? But we don't know how to use passage rings. Then we'll interrogate Master Van and... Luke, there's no way we could pull that off. I understand how you feel, but... No, you don't, Guy. None of you do. Luke... I'm the one who destroyed Axarium. That's why I have to do something now. I know this won't make up for what I've done, but if I could save this one city... Luke, get a hold of yourself. You won't get anything done like that. Let's go to Yulia City. They know more about the Sephiroth than we do. Now that the score predicting St. Bina's safety has faltered. Yes, Grandfather might be willing to help. And Luke, you sounded like a child a moment ago. Everyone here wants to save St. Bina. You're right. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. We're not mad or anything. I'll launch the Albior then. Saving lives.
Grandfather! I figured you'd come. I've been waiting for you. Grandfather, please help us. We want to save St. Bina. Yes, I suppose we must. Though we are fearful of deviating from the score. Before we talk, I'd like to let the people from St. Bina get some rest. Oh, yes. Let us take them in. Thank you. discouraged what Jade rarely scolds people uh, what he said earlier shows that he's taken a liking to you field marshal don't put words in my mouth old folks don't have time to bother scolding people we don't like Jade is no different honestly of all the things to say I'm going on ahead <laughs> He pegged him. Guess Jade has a few soft spots after all. <laughs> yeah. Tear. Um. Thanks. What's this? All of a sudden. You've scolded me from the very beginning. Oh, that was just. I mean. It's weird. I always thought of getting scolded as a bad thing. It's not a good thing either. I know that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, come on.
I've been waiting for you. What's the book Van left behind? It's just an ordinary book on phonic arts, but there was a hidden page at the end. Here's a copy of it. I don't know what it means, but I thought you might... This is... Va... Le... Zwe... Tue... Mother... Understanding... Spreading through the land of Rugnica. The magnificent... Angel's voice... What's going on? Quiet. Tear is meditating. It looks like that really was the symbol of the hymn. Now I understand. This is the third hymn. Tears learn Have you holy able to song. Out the hidden whatever it was. Yes. Congratulations, Tear. Thank you. Do you mind if I keep this copy? There's information here about the symbolism in the other hymns as well. Though I don't yet know enough to understand them. Be my guest. I'm sure it'll come in useful eventually as you grow stronger. Yes. Thank you. Okay. I'll get to the point. Is there any way to save Singbina? Oh, this is a difficult problem. If only we had the key of Lorelei that Yulia used. The key of Lorelei? What's that? It sounds kind of familiar. It refers to the sword and jewel of Lorelei. If I recall, it was used when creating the planet storm. I've also heard it referred to as the symbol of the pact between Yulia and Lorelei. Correct. The key of Lorelei is said to be a phonic weapon created by Yulia using the power of Lorelei. The Sword of Lorelei gathers seventh phonons and the Jewel of Lorelei disperses them. It's said that the key itself is made of seventh phonons. Supposedly, Yulia summoned Lorelei into the key and freely commanded that power. Whether that is true or not, what is true is that it could control the Sephiroth. But once the planet storm was formed, the key of Lorelei was cast down into the core. Yes. We can't use something we don't have. Something that may not exist at all. In any case, I suspect it would be impossible to lift St. Bina back up to the Outer Lands. Hmm. Is there really nothing anyone can do? It may be possible to at least prevent it from sinking beneath the liquefied surface. With the Sephiroth? Yes. They are controlled by devices called Passage Rings. By using the Passage Ring to restore the Sephiroth, we might be able to keep St. Bina afloat. Where is the Passage Ring that controls the Sephiroth tree? At Shuri Hill. It's to the east of St. Bina. That's where I was taken when I was captured on the Tartarus. At the time, I thought it would still be protected by the Albertesque and Yulian seals. The Albertesque seal disappeared once the passage rings for Had and Exiriuth were destroyed. But the Yulian seal should not unlock until the promised time. But the Commandant must have unlocked it and operated the passage rings, right? Yes. Even we don't know how he did it. Let's worry about that later. How do we operate the passage ring? I've heard that all of the control panels require the use of the seventh phonon. Well, we've got three people who can use that. Tyr, Luke, and myself. The other issue is whether Van has done anything to damage the passage ring. We won't know that until we get there. If it's east of St. Bina, then it's probably falling along with the city. To Shuri Hill.
Okay. Look at this nonsense here. Okay. Sure he The same thing. I gotta look this up.
my god. We could have figured this out without looking it up. Can't see. Why right here? Should I be able to go up here? I was told it was right here! Let me look this up again. 